So that massive update I spoke about with Bard has now arrived with extensions. We knew it was coming. You can now book your flights with AI using Bard. You can search your Gmail to find out what your last email was about a particular subject. You can get summaries of your Gmail. You can dig into your drive and get your documents, your spreadsheets. You can find certain documents that mention certain words. AI can now work with all the things that you're using within Google. YouTube, Gmail, Drive, Documents. Google Maps even. You can even find out about how you can improve your Google Maps, your Google profile even for your business. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get those extensions on your Bard. I'm also gonna find out whether it understands what the invalid traffic bug is because at the moment, my channel's experienced that and you may hear of creators talking about that where there's a 90% loss on your income through Google's traffic and through their ads. But more on that later. So Google Bard is starting to become the AI I'm turning to rather than ChatGPT, which has been really good until recently. But now with these extensions, things have changed. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you how you get those extensions. So I just got this email this morning and here it speaks about Bard extensions and how you can integrate it with your Google Apps and your services like Gmail, Google Maps, Drive and Documents. And the results are gonna be really helpful because they're gonna have a bit more context now. And they're gonna be really planning on working with what you use, the tools you use. So writing your emails, summarizing them, it can double check your answers using perhaps documents that you've got, and you can get greater quality and accuracy through using it this way. So how do you get it? Well, you head over to Bard, uh, that's bard.google.com. And then what I would do is I'd log in with your account that you use for your Drive, for your YouTube, for your Gmail and so on. So if you've got more than one Google account, make sure it's the right one. And here you've got extensions in the top right. If you click on that, you get these new extensions and you can just flick them on and off. So we've got Google Flights, Hotels, Maps, Google Workspace. And in this case, this gives you your Gmail, your Drive, your documents, you can manage your workspace. And if you use Google, then it's perfect for that. So I'm gonna switch that on and also YouTube as well. And it notice it gives you a few things here. You can summarize things, you do research. So you've now got AI working on all the things that you use that's got Google's name on it. Actually, you can turn extensions on and off whenever you want. So you can see Bard's now got a new interface where you've got it much easier to use, it's much clearer. I've got a picture here of a lasagna and I'm going to now drop that into this new interface. And you can see it can take images as well. And you can ask questions about the image. So uh, I'm gonna see if it knows what this is and also can it find a recipe? So what is this dinner? And can you give me a recipe for it? So let's see how it gets on. And there you go, it's recognized it's lasagna, which is pretty good from a photo. And also it's now worked out a recipe for it as well. So that's pretty impressive. It even gives me instructions of how to cook it and so on. So I think that's good. We could just see where does it get information from? So it will now give us a connection to Google. And there you can see we've got some related topics. And if we click on those, that'll take us through to where it's got that information from. And then there's a really good way to get shortcuts to these as well. Notice if you click an at, if you put an at in, you get then a reference to all the areas that you want to use. So I'm gonna use Google Maps. So click at, go Google Maps, where is the nearest gym? Let's just see where that is. So it knows where I am, it knows my location. It's now going to Google Maps. And there you go, it's got then a list of some gyms nearby. And if we click on one of these, okay, so let's go to, so Google Maps, let's ask it where the nearest web designer is. I'm hoping that it will be my profile, my website come up. Oh, there you go, so I've come up, it's done it design. And what happens if I click on it? And there you go, it's a link straight through to my website, which is fantastic. And it even mentions it's got five star reviews as well. So again, we do at, and this time we'll try say Google hotels. Let's try this one. Can you book me a hotel in, let's say Las Vegas uh, for the Formula One? So the Formula One's coming up. So it's gonna have to know when Formula One uh, races, the Grand Prix is going to be. It's then got to go to Las Vegas. And it's then gonna find if there's any free hotels left. So that's quite a lot to ask from AI. And there you done, it's done it. So it's obviously saying double check, but November 16th to 19th, and it's saying for two adults, and it's given me several hotels there and the price, the cost as well. So that's quite impressive. And it's done it in my local currency, and it's gonna be photographs, and I can click through if I wanted to book one of these. That's very impressive. So that just shows you AI working uh, using Google Maps as well, and knowing information about dates. So good combination here of AI. 
So look at my Google business profile and tell me what I can do to improve it. So this would be helpful if it could do that. It says it doesn't have access to my profile. Okay, so it's given some generic answers here. Maybe if I gave it a bit more detail about my business, it would be able to help me. But here it's still got some good advice, had photos, respond to reviews and so on. So that didn't work as well. So let's see if we can get something out of docs then. Uh, can you tell me if I have a spreadsheet about Formula One? So I don't know if I have, I've probably got a few things. Let's see if we can find something in my documents that go back many years. It's going to my workspace. Uh, I don't know if I need to tell it to go to Google Drive, but I think it's probably intelligent enough to know where spreadsheets are kept. So assessing documents, that's good. And there you go, it's found, actually found a PDF. Uh, let's just click on that, see what it does. And oh, there you go, it's got the Mercedes information there and so on. So that's useful as well, just to see that it can go to my documents if I found some PDFs. Uh, that's powerful if you're trying to find stuff. Um, again, a great, so you've got your really good search now, all from within AI as well. So we know about Gmail as well can be used. So in my email, when did I last send an email about, uh, let's do hashtag invalid traffic. Now, if you've not heard of invalid traffic, you'll know that a lot of creators like myself at the moment are not getting paid by ads at all uh, because of a bug that seems to be uh, really ruining uh, creators on YouTube. Um, so if you want to support creators like myself, at the moment there's no ads um, and that's a challenge. And you can see it's come up with an email and at the moment I'm still having this with YouTube support. It's been two months now without any payments and uh, it's a big, big deal. If you want to support the channel, obviously there is a membership. If you can support it with the membership at the moment, that'd be really helpful until this is sorted out. Okay, so do you know why invalid traffic is such a big issue for creators on YouTube? This is asking a million dollar question at the moment for creators that are affected by this. I'm not expecting an answer though. No, it's just a generic answer. And this is all we're getting at the moment as creators as well. So I'm not gonna harp on about it, but I'm affected by it. It's making it very hard to release videos and to be motivated when there's no payment at all. Uh, the ads themselves obviously helped to support this channel. Now there's no money at all coming in on this channel. So I'm gonna Google flights this time. Then you just go and get information like what flights go from Bournemouth Airport. That'd be a useful one. And you can give it a month, say, just to get some idea. So we'll say February, 2024. And the great thing with this is if it produces some flights, you could potentially then know the flights and you could then book them as well at the times they leave and the prices as well. So a lot more detail, a lot more information now being used through these extensions. Now, some of you may still feel that actually ChatGPT will take more than that to beat it at the number one spot. And I can understand that. But I asked a question a few months ago, will ChatGPT be beaten by Bard eventually? And I had a conclusive answer that I reveal in this video. So you won't want to miss this one because it's got some interesting insights into what's going to happen in the coming months ahead. I'll see you on that next video.